If you want to get into podcasting, forget Zoom. That is not the way to go. You definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality. And so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly to take advantage of this incredible offer today. Women generally don't want to date a guy in a wheelchair, okay? So like, you know, we as the public have this idea of like, oh, you have to find like your woman on your own through your own merits. Well, some people don't have all of the benefits that the rest of us do. Some people have like some serious physical setbacks, which is really going to prevent them from meeting someone. And let's be honest, like meeting someone is hard enough as it is. So being in a wheelchair, having some other, you know, boundary that you come up against is going to make it that much more difficult. And he was just saying, I would not be able to have intimate experiences with women if I didn't have full service sex workers that I could pay to have these experiences with. And he's like, it's so important for me. It's so important for my mental health to know that, you know, I can connect with a woman. I don't mind paying them. And, you know, I don't feel like they only like me because I'm giving them money. Like it, it really helps fill a need that I have. And it's so important to me. And thank you for touching on that. And I was like really moved by that because here's, you know, a person, a perfect example of somebody who can't just like go out and meet a woman on his own. You know, I mean, we just, we forget about these people who have, you know, these issues that really prevent them from meeting somebody. Yep. It's sad. Yeah. I mean, there's a whole movement of abolitionists wanting to shut down the industry. And it's like, what does that do though? Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we're not looking at what's actually causing this, you know, where's this coming from? There's people that need um, money and jobs and, you know, some, some freedom of their income and, and these things. And there's other people that have a need for a service. Why it, that's the ultimate capitalist ideal, right? Like why can't we match a demand with a, with a supply? And um, I mean, it's going to happen whether it's on Tinder or, you know, a sex work site and yeah. Who are we going to leave in the lurches if everything's shut down? Yeah. I mean, you know? that's the thing. Like it's never going to go away, right? It's like the oldest profession. You're just going to drive it underground, yeah. um, which is going to make it, you know, I mean, look at Sesta Fosta. Yep. Yeah. Which is just going to yeah. make it more dangerous for sex workers. So Salt Lake City. Um, can you tell us what the acronym stands for and specifically what um, this outreach program is all about? Yeah. Um, SWAP is Sex Work Outreach Project, which is a national uh, nonprofit uh, dedicated to um you know, assisting and, and supporting right. sex workers um, and also fighting for the rights and equal treatment of, of sex workers, um, whether they're in the business consensually or not. Um, and we, my uh, business partner and I had found a local organization in Salt Lake that was organizing the march after the inauguration um, when Trump took office and the Women's March. And so we both just we didn't know each other yet and found our way to this org and we're discussing you know as that group grow grew so quickly right off the bat they were kind of organizing different things what what can people contribute what can you be a part in and we both kind of found our way into like well we want to talk about you know the rights of sex workers and um body autonomy equal access to the economy and all these really feminist principles and they're like we can't do that and we're like you know this is ultimately the the feminist like ideal right right the equal access to to money and, and be self-sustaining and make our own decisions about our lives and just all these things. And they're like, yeah, but people won't donate, you know? And it was like, <laughs> oh, well, we'll do it ourselves then, <laughs> you know? And she and I branched off and um, formed a local uh, group um, with as much, you know, anonymity and privacy as we could and tried to get a support system underway for people that just needed. And this was about the time that FOSTA, um, was coming in. I think that was a year later, technically, when it came in, but they'd already raided Backpage um, before the, you know the laws were even in effect. But so we were like, we need a support system. We need to be able to talk to each other and help help each other, you know, through a lot of this stuff. And so we started a local private group. And then as we were kind of looking around, we realized there was already kind of a national org doing this that we would like to 
be a part of um, so we don't have to you know rewrite the whole mm -hmm. agenda kind of a thing um, so we applied to become uh, a chapter of Swap National and for the first several years you know we spent hours at the Capitol every session talking through different pieces of legislation um, I worked on a bill with one of our legislators that protects um, sex workers reporting crimes from being charged with prostitution mm -hmm. um, like a, you know an immunity thing because people wouldn't be able to come forward and like this is absurd so we got that legislation through which was helpful um, we were starting another one that kind of went by the wayside with COVID but ho hopefully getting that back in place about um, police officers not being allowed to have sex with people in their custody another no-brainer but that's not a law in Utah really yeah there's only like 13 states I think that have that as a law which is absurd and so what would happen is a lot of times they'd be like well if you don't you know sleep with me I'll arrest you I'll take you in, I'll book you. So it's like, well, do you want a record and a fine? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And there were some situations, um, like one back east where a woman was in that in that position, and I don't know the story wasn't there, but it sounds like from the media accounts that, you know, there was some um, fight or something that broke loose and she was shot and killed in the cop's car, you know, in his custody having sex. And it was like, this this can't happen. If you want to get into podcasting, forget Zoom. That is not the way to go. You definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality, and so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's zencaster.com and use promo code Holly to take advantage of this incredible offer today.